Thanks. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson is live from downtown. Rachel, the big crowds never materialized, but we saw a little bit of people. So what's happening now? Okay, McGreg, a completely different situation now. I'm a step of the way so you can see that a lot of people have gone home. There's hardly anyone out here now on Dauphin Street than at a five o'clock, but the good times are still rolling for some folks. Um, we're just happy that we were allowed to be opened. Everybody seems to be social distancing and respecting each other. Um, we're just trying to make some money. Delaney Bond is one of the owners at Haley's Bar. She says her business, along with many others, really needed Fat Tuesday money. They really do. Um, I hope everybody can, like, you know, push through for this because a lot of people depend on it. But um, we'll see what happens. Moe's Barbecue had a nice crowd inside. The manager told us they didn't have any expectations, but hopeful for crowds. The city of Mobile shut down several downtown streets to allow revelers to celebrate. It started out slow, but picked up throughout the day. Well, we're down here for Mardi Gras. Shelly DeRosa and her family decided to come down to Mobile from Wisconsin for a little Mardi Gras fun. She says the family felt safe and enjoyed the city. Beyond expectation, yes ma'am. Cedric Mitz usually parties in New Orleans, but came to Mobile where some of the fun is still allowed. You just have to. It's, it's traditions and we want to keep up the traditions. Even Chief Slack strolled down Dauphin Street. It's a great year, it's a great day. Uh, it's a downside, COVID. Be careful everybody, have a good time. Don't get bad, but just enjoy. Everyone we talked to today say they are ready for next year's Mardi Gras. They say it will be bigger and better. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Rachel Wilkerson, NBC 15 News.